How are you doing, my friend? Can you gulp? Can, can, do you know what I'm talking about? Can you spread your ears? You like that house, eh? No, not interested? Okay. How is everybody today? Uncensored, unpracticed, unknowledgeable, the UN, the underwriters, learning the science of the alphabet. When I come on here to do a video, most of the time, I do not practice. A lot of people don't watch my videos. They're always telling me, you don't know what you're doing. Um, and I know that. I don't know what I'm doing in the pretext to how I should come across. But what I do know what I'm doing, and I am 100% sure what I'm doing, is when I look at something, it is what it is to the perspective of the explanation of how I can deliver to explain, starting off with a base of what I believe you know. Let's start off with the base and look at it as the alphabet. Does everybody know the letter A? Êtes-vous um, en français c'est la lettre O? Il dit pas en français A. The French don't say A. They say O. Oh. So they say it softly. So there's a difference in English between saying A and O. Oh. Different ways we say things around the world, breaking everything up into fractals. Now, if you don't know what the word fractal or definition of it is, I'm going to give you my definition. Although I don't run with all the definitions of the world, fractal is a piece of a whole of something. So when you look at a piece of a whole of something, with inside the fractal, it has a brace to it, an area space. Okay, so we're going to talk, go down to area space. So my question is, the first area space that we begin with, is it this size, okay, or is this a whole area space? So that anything that's used in the center is coming with inside the area space. So this whole piece of work comes in the area space and in between of what is above and below. So that if I would connect this and you would say, hey, look, it's the W. Or you can say, no, it's the M. So what would the M be telling you? And then this over here with this, if I was writing it this way, you might say that's five. You would say that's six. You would say that's seven. And you would say that eight. Well, why didn't I go right on these lines? Why am I using these lines? Because one is inside a zero. It's the position inside of what is a square, which is not which is one, two, sorry, three, four, five area points. There is no nine area. So how do we get a nine area? How can we find a nine area? So I would have to look inside of this, how to find a nine area by using dots and dashes. The early communication um, was uh, uh, uh. So when you point, you're pointing in that direction and to get to the other end of the direction you point, it would be the dot and the line. I question it. We also use it in Morse code, dot, dot, dash, dot, 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 dash. When we count in Mayan, it's dot and line, dot, dot, and line, dot, 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 and line. When we have vowels in Hebrew, it's dots and lines. Hebrew counting is really, um, I just learned this uh, just this week and I thought it was amazing. Although you say a chat time shalosh or bachamesh shevish monatesha eser, eser a chat. Now, when you're saying eser, a chat, a chat time shalosh or bachamesh shevish monatesha eser. So I have to understand eser as ten and the tenth letter as yod. Because although you'll spell yod y o d, or in most in English, you would do it that way. When you say Esser, you don't spell it that way, just like you don't say 10 as J. And mathematically, how can we create J? How do we get to J? And when does numbers stop? 
are there a package of numbers that make all the other numbers up? The package of numbers, I believe, has to do with 60. And although you might see, think I'm all over the place, I am because I'm building, it's like I'm building a house right now. You don't see what I'm building over there. I already said it. So when you get to 60, when you're talking in French, right, 70, 80, and 90 are not the same. Like when we get into the year 2030, the reason for the 20 and the 30 is they're actually telling you 20 is four parts of 20. Four times 20 equals to 80. Four times 20 equals to 80 plus 10 equals to 90. Now in Hebrew, they say 10 using Yod for 10. Now, when they get to 11, they go Yod Aleph. Aleph is the first letter. So if we're going Yod Aleph, now I can revert off of the alphabet, off of the numbers, and go to the Ten Commandments. So then, as we go to the Ten Commandments, we're now going Yod. Are we going Yod Aleph, saying, I am in the Ten Commandments of one? Yod Bet, as in the Ten Commandments of two, ten, and two, equaling to twelve. So eleven and twelve. So they're associating eleven and twelve together. They go Aleph Gimel, which is now ten and three, thirteen. Then they go Aleph Dalit, which is fourteen. Then they go Aleph Hey, in, in which in a previous, uh, sorry, they go Yod, sorry, not Aleph. I made a mistake. I'm not sure how far back I have to go, but it's Yod Aleph, Yod Bet, Yod Gimel, which is 10 1, 10 2, 10 3. Then it's Yod um, Dalit, 10 4. Okay. Now when they go to 15, right, so so when they go to 15, okay, they're using Tate Vav. They're only using four Hebrew letters. They're using Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalit. Once you get the Dalit, it becomes the mirror. So what's happening in 15, 3 times 3, 3 plus 3, Tate Vav, equaling to 15, you're now going inside. This is where the house goes inside the sun, inside the mirror world. Now it's not shadow, it's mirror, but shadow and mirror is almost the same thing because when you shine a light onto something, you get the shadow or the mirror of what the what you get. So you're getting, it's without the light. I'm trying to figure out how that works. Does the shadow mean anything without the light? I have to think about that. There's So we're going Tate, Vav, which is three times three, three plus three. I'm going to have to do a short on that and explain that. And then we go Tate, um, Zion, only with 15 and 16 um, do they do this. Now, my question is, um, when they're doing that, in order to say 15, so we have to go underneath and through the 10 in order to add the 6. I'm, I'm not sure if you can understand this because 10 is the whole. So if I was looking at let's say Rubik's cube and one face, we would have nine, 10. 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 I got 40, nine, 10, nine, 10. Talking about what? Are we talking about all of them? Why do I have to mention all of what it is? Because it's all, forget about it. And then inside of it is nine. But every time you got nine, you got more because on every single corner is another color. So when you have a nine face, you're actually now gonna say, I am nine with three, six, nine, 12. I am not only nine, but I am nine with 12. I am 21. So we have 21 at the top and we have 21 on the bottom. And in the center, we have 12. 21, 12, 21. Should we say it's 20 and not count the center? 20, 12, 20, 12, 20, 12? 